live in the Z-Line kitchen at Advantage Appliance. Chef Trevor Claire from the Patent Wrap is joining us. And, and Chef, you won't be with us next week. No, well, I mean... Because we won't have a show. <laughs> that sounded... That sounded <laughs> yeah, that's true. That sounded a little <laughs> ominous, didn't it? No, it's Thanksgiving next week, and people are getting everything ready. They're ready to go for that big meal, but it's after the big meal that we're going to concentrate on. Today. That's Yeah, that's the idea of this food. Um, mostly today, uh, so the paddle shop is closed next to uh, Thanksgiving, but mm -hmm. we're doing meals to go for that. So okay. uh, just kind of a take-and-bake situation of uh, turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, stuffing green beans, rolls, and pumpkin pie. Uh, and I think we have, it's enough to serve eight people for $135, okay. which I, that's, you throw the math at that, it's not, it's not too bad for right. a, per person, plus you don't have to spend, I mean, you do have to turn the oven on, but you don't. As long as you know how to do that, you can have a Thanksgiving meal. Right, you know, I mean, you can still burn it, I guess, yeah. uh, whatever, but it, uh, it's not babysitting a turkey all day, it's not. Making Love sure it's thawed, making sure all the things that are, you know, the whole week-long project. Let me ask you this, though. You you, you pick it up when? By Wednesday, Wednesday. I would assume? Yeah, uh, we might have them ready to go on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, a, a little bit of my first year doing it. Okay. Uh, so I, I have the basics of it. I'm not exactly sure how pickup works, but Wednesday for sure. Everything yep. will be ready to rock. Um, I think in years past, we've done about 60 meals somewhere right in there. Um, so I'm hoping... It goes about like that. Uh, okay. Today is the last day to get your orders in for it, uh, paddletrap.com. It's got to be online, right? Online or at least call the Paddle Trap and we'll okay. get you to the website, but it will be an online order. Sounds um, like a, a great meal and it includes, like you say, even a little pumpkin pie for the end. Right. The and only I'm, thing you'll have to buy is your own Cool Whip or whipping cream. Uh, that might come with it. Well, gonna, see? <laughs> might want to check it out. Check that out. Or you can um, you can also like a la carte or substitute uh Blueberry cheesecake instead. Okay. So if you if you want to go that route, I'd, I'd go that way. I'm not a I don't love a pumpkin pie. Okay, but the paddle trap is closed that day, but you can still have some some food closed on from Thanksgiving. Um, from and I, this might just be like fallout from watching a Christmas movie too many times. Okay. But like if you're not, you got to be a pretty interesting restaurant to be open on Thanksgiving. Your Denny's, mm -hmm. your Perkins, your all the time places, but most restaurants shut it down. Exactly. Like. And, and rightfully so. Give the, give the employees a day off and give the chef a day off. Yeah, I, I think we earn it. Yeah, and so too. For everybody, uh, these, this takeout is kind of new to the, the kitchen world. I think it's just mm -hmm. like uh, uh, COVID fallout or whatever. Like, Without question. That's where it all began. You know, we you we know? learned that we can really do a lot of uh, takeout and yeah, so we we definitely earn our days off. Anymore. Well, and takeout kept a lot of restaurants uh, afloat 100%. during that time, and and it's kind of spilled over now to where things have gotten back to normal. But people, you know, customers people have gotten like used it. to. Yeah. Yes, we love it. We do a lot of takeout. Now, you and I were talking before we came on the air, and I said, I asked Trevor, I said, is this one of your favorite meals, the Thanksgiving meal? And you said, yes, I love it, but I especially love the Thursday afternoon yeah. sandwich. No, time. I yeah the. The after the meal sandwich, yep. like, and I, I go nuts. Like you gotta have the right fresh rolls, or you know, I mean, the day of whatever. Um, but like I go nuts. Like mine get green bean casserole and and sweet potatoes on them. And stuff. Like I it's don't, not a turkey sandwich. It's a Thanksgiving meal sandwich. It, it'll involve turkey, but <laughs> there's some in there if you look close enough. But yeah, multi multi layer. So this is about uh, two thirds of a cup of mayonnaise, dried cranberries. So I'm, I'm just jump starting this. So, like this is a. Uh, a cranberry aioli turkey sandwich. Okay. Right, uh, aioli is just, like people, it, it's just dressed up mayonnaise. Okay. So and technically it's mayonnaise and garlic. And I, I give people crap for using, uh, using the minced using garlic. It does have its place. This is its place. Well, what's this guy for then? I, you know, maybe we get to that, maybe we don't. So a good, a good teaspoon of minced garlic. Mm, but this has its place. A, it's easy to have around. B, mm -hmm. Because it's minced and like stored in water, it's not as potent. Okay. So you can kind of loses some of its oomph. It lo yeah, you're not going to get the hot that you okay. sometimes get with garlic. Um, and also you can you can kind of eyeball the measurement a lot easier sure. than you can with a clove. Yeah. Than with a clove. All right. So mayonnaise, cranberry. I forgot. I didn't really forget. I just didn't bring it. Yeah. Um, a little Dijon mustard goes a long oh. ways in here. How it's, much is a little? Like a squirt or? Yeah. Uh, maybe half a teaspoon, something okay. like that. And, you know, I never know for measurements. I don't know how much you're making. Right. But I know it when I see it. You don't want to. You don't want to kill it with uh, mustard. But 
Basically yeah, salt, can pepper, overpower it. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Dried cranberries, good mayonnaise. This has become one of my favorite products, Hellman's, olive Hellman's. oil mayonnaise. It's, Dukes makes a really nice mayonnaise too. Okay. But, but Hellman's the olive, olive oil, oil you, mayonnaise, you, you, you recommend that. become one of my favorite ingredients. Got it. And then, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy to this. Well, this is basically stuff that people have in their, in their pantry. Or at least easy to come by leftovers. Okay. I'm just saying to make the aioli. Right. Yeah, you know. these just find their way, especially if you're a baker. Mm -hmm. You should probably have these around. Got it. I just like them as a snack, too. I love those. So, Keeping some, the theme of turkey. Some good focaccia bread. And uh, let's get some mayonnaise on this. If you can let this sit for about two hours before you serve it, the cranberries really wake up. Mm. You can absolutely do it with, uh, like, cranberry jelly, or like out-of-the-can cranberries. It doesn't look as pretty, but it works. And yeah, uh, whatever you want to add to these, I'm gonna throw like some, some bacon and some avocado at it. Provolone cheese, I'm not a huge provolone cheese fan, but it does work nice in here because it lets everything else work. It's a real mild cheese. Yeah. <clears throat> what is going it's on Settle there? down there, turkey bacon. They're not done yet. No. Yeah. Good cracked black pepper uh, turkey. Are you a dark meat fan or I, a light meat, white meat? I dark meat for sure. I really? get uh, yeah. I get you and I get along. We share the bird. I get put in charge of carving every year, <laughs> and okay. I'm I'm all about it. Like, yep, those are my thighs. Ima <laughs> I'll, imagine I'll slice Jeff this Trevor thin, being just in charge perfect. of carving. I'd put you in charge of carving at my house, too. I'm not good at it. It looks like somebody tore into it with a chainsaw when I'm done. Sharp knife. True. Goes a long ways. Electric knife. And, nope. Nope. Well, whatever. I, if that, whatever works for you, right? Yeah. But I'm just... Sharp knife, and then you kind of, if you can do a lot of the work mechanically, more than, like, use the knife, like, pull be able to pull it apart, yeah. you know, um, that in butchering in general, that's just a good trick. If the, the more you can do with your hands, it's easier to separate all that out. I always, I always enjoy watching you work an avocado. You make it look so easy. There's not much to it. That go on top, I would assume? Yeah. The, the kiwi is the tricky one. Avocados aren't too bad. Any special hours going into... Thanksgiving, I do, are you, and then again, you're back open on Friday. I yeah, rope open right away on Black Friday. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. Just close, close Thursday. Get your meals in. Uh, today again is the last day for meals to go. When did you begin at the paddle trap? We got to be coming up on a year here. It was right after mm -hmm. the first of the year, wasn't it? February. February. Okay. We're gonna have to throw a big bang here when we. It's gonna be a big celebration, Trevor. You don't know. <laughs> That'd be my doing some first behind. celebrated restaurant doing anniversary. Some behind the scenes <clears throat> work here. So I don't know uh, what all else you might want to add to this. Uh, some onions might be good. I didn't want to yeah, wreck anybody's day with onions so early, but we got a minute left. Oh, perfect. Okay, last day to get your orders in. Go to the website, which is paddletrap.com. Paddletrap.com. Or failing that, call the restaurant and we'll get you to it. I'm, I'm not saying okay. that we can do it all. Over Just the phone, that but size, though. That's the smallest. Is that you're? I mean, you dinner don't offer for eight. A small. Okay, yep. dinner for eight. Um, which you know, if you're hungry, you probably do it with five or. Four Dinner for four, you got leftovers. Yeah. Big time. And then, yeah, it, it all comes portioned out and nice and easy. Reheat, no problem. Yep. Um, you know, it, it comes cold, so it's not hot and. It's whatever. what, about two hours prep time, something like that? Oh, no. Half even? an hour. Half an hour. Yep. Sounds good. You can, you can cook anything on high, you just got to watch it. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> let's let's tell the folks where we're at as far as the paddle trap. Uh, paddle trap is 2500 North, oh, I'm sorry, 2500 Pirates Loop Northeast, Mandan. Right by Sport, uh, more Sport Marine. Yep. We've right on the right river. There, you'll find it. All right. Don't forget the igloos are up, too. So and the igloos. Make an appointment for that. All right. We're going to take a break. Happy Thanksgiving, sir. Me, too. Appreciate it. Taking a break. We're back with more right after this.